This week on My Classic Car, we'll travel to Glendora, California to check out a couple of incredible customs. See what happens when I get behind the wheel of a radical 53 Studi and one insane 39 Ford. Hey, I just couldn't resist. Plus, we'll look at a new keyless ignition and entry system. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Glendora, California to visit Leonard Knight. I met Leonard last summer at a car show where he had his 53 Studi, which I immediately fell in love with. But after talking to him, I learned that wasn't his only car. And at that point, I thought, I need a trip to California. So here I am, and here they are. Check them out. <laughs> Leonard, how you doing, man? Good, good to see you, Dennis. Great to see you again, man. You know, I first bumped into you at a at a, at a, a SEMA charity car show, right? Uh, right. Pasadena. In Pasadena, yeah. And I absolutely fell in love with your studio because I'm a studio guy anyway, <laughs> and a green studio no less. <laughs> But uh, you, you, you got a couple cars, and I, right. I said, you know, we had a chat. Um, so we're going to get back to that, Studi. Okay. And let's start over here with, uh, with this, uh, you know, kind of hopped up, uh, <laughs> gnarly looking thing. This is a 39 Ford, right? Right, the deluxe coupe. So you say you have a chop. There's not much of a chop, No, though, it's about right? two inches. Yeah, kinda just subtle. a subtle, yeah. We uh, uh, rounded the uh, corners on the doors uh -huh. to kind of smooth out the lines, tie in with the rear window a little bit. Now you've got hinges, so you must run a hood once in a while. Yeah, I did have a hood made for it. Uh, it it's cut out around the uh, velocity stacks on the injection. But I just kind of, rather than having to raise the hood at a, at a car show, it's much easier. When you've got to, that. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I love, the, I love the color combo. I mean, you know, two tones are pretty popular. Right. But you did this early on before two tones were all that popular. Exactly. Right? It's a uh, PPG copper penny. Uh huh. And then the silver is a custom mix that we, that nice. we came up with to go with it. And I like what you did with the wheels, too. You've got. You know, a, a, kind of an interesting combo. These spoked ETs, right? Which, the old drag style yeah, wheels, yeah, which really look great. And then you know these monsters in back, because she's obviously tubbed. Right, right, yeah. And Weld those wheels, those in are back. welds. Godly. Yeah. And we're running actual slick, so it, we don't ride, drive it in the rain very much. <laughs> That's probably wise. And you you bring the exhaust out right at the running board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's uh, it's basically a four inch six straight through exhaust. I did put uh, Bassett boat mufflers inside to oh, yeah? just to kind of tone it down a little to take that sharp edge off. And uh, it's still loud, but it's uh, more of a mellow. It's a, it's mellow a, it's a tasteful loud. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, she's, she's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, thank you. And you've, you know, you, you've got the, you know, kind of a, it, it's like luxurious race. I yeah. mean, it's, it's race, <laughs> but it's still got some comfort to it. Right, right, yeah, it has a full cage in it. Uh, we, did a, we did use a dash out of a 99 Mustang, cut down. Wow, I like and, that. And uh, got a tachometer and no speedometer. Who needs it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and in the seats, are they out of something? Or are they? No, there's just a, this is an aftermarket seat, uh -huh. and we had done uh, full leather interior, leather headliner, and uh, the rest is carpet. It's kind of a Mercedes type type of carpet. Yeah, B and M shifter. Right. But, but it is an interesting combination. I mean, you, you, it is full race, but then you know, carpet, leather. You right. Know, right. Yeah. Full roll cage. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I like a little comfort and. I didn't want just uh, the bare bucket seats and yeah. you know, things like that. So. No, it's, well, it's, it, I mean, and it looks great. And then back you. here, you've also done a fair amount of modifications. It's very yes. smooth. But right. What all's been done back here? Uh, the f rear fenders have been widened uh, two inches. Uh, we oh, made okay. a, a custom roll pan for the for the back end, molded in the tail lights, and of course you have to have your on-off switch for the power if you're going to run it at the track. <laughs> and. And, and uh, now the lights are, are those ones that is that an aftermarket too, or did you just make those? No, we made those. Uh, nice. We just took uh, you know the, the lens material and heated it up and, and uh, formed it in there and then sanded it all off and then oh no kidding clear coated over the whole thing. Boy, it's just so smooth. You know, you've just shaved everything off of it. And again, the, you know the color combinations just thank you. Yeah, it's, particularly in the sunlight, it's, 
The yeah. contrast stands out really well. It really does. And then we have our uh, Willie Nelson saying on there from his... Nothing lasts forever, but so, old Fords and natural stone. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Nelson. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, the, the big show, though, is, is up here. Right. So that, I mean, that's really an impressive engine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is very, that's very impressive. 572. Size does matter. Size, <laughs> size does matter. So 572. Right, it's the deluxe one with the 720 horse. It's a 12 and a half to one compression. Wow. And uh, it's making about 800 or so with the, with the fuel injection on it. And what is that fuel injection setup? It's a Kinsler fuel injection, fully polished. Um, runs really well. It's one of those things, you know, with the uh, computers, you tune it once and then from then on you just get it and drive it. <laughs> Well, and there's there are no there's no filtration at all. No, no, no. Still no. sucking small birds, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> I tried to use tennis balls to uh, you know to cover them when I go to shows, but they go all the way to the bottom, yeah. so it doesn't do any you, good. You need softballs. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. So is this one you still take to shows and stuff? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I don't believe in having a car you don't drive. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> and and like speaking of driving, you've got this you've got this uh, license and everything, so you don't trailer it to the show either. You drive no, it. No. It's uh, within uh, the range of the gas tank. And here, I drive here go. <laughs> well, can we take it out? Maybe get a little uh, road work today? Absolutely. Can I drive it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Coming up, we'll fire up the 39 Ford and have a little fun. But first, we'll check out a new keyless ignition and entry system in the Eggy Speed Shop. My Classic Car is brought to you by Grundy Worldwide Collector Car Insurance. Well, hey, I got Ron Doman from Flaming River in the shop with me today. How you doing, Ron? Good, Dennis. Nice to see you again. Great to have you back, man. Well, you guys are, are always doing cool things at Flaming River, building new stuff, and you, you brought a couple of your new toys today, didn't you? Yes, we did. We've been in real busy in the R&D department this year. Getting ready for the big show. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's start over here. This is, a, this is kind of a semi-universal uh, power steering pump mounting kit. Yeah, it's for the small block Chevy and the big block Chevy, primarily with the uh, reservoir style of pump. Um, we make this bracket that, that you see down uh -huh. here in two styles. They're black oxide. What's really unique about that bracket, Dennis, is that it has an adjuster right here. So mm -hmm. after you mount the pump and mount the bracket, you can adjust it to match up the pulley correctly so that the belt is very straight on the car. Well, and you kind of need that adjustability depending on, on you know, where the rest of your accessories are going to go and which belt you want to be on. And Totally correct, uh, because you really want to kind of isolate the power steering pump from like the air compressor or the alternator so that on the road, you know, you can be a little more protected that yeah. way. If you lose one, you don't lose everything. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> and then this is kind of a turnbuckle here so I can get further yeah, adjustment. The, uh, that's the adjuster for tension adjuster that comes with the kit along with all the screws and everything you need. So you don't really have to shop for any of the hardware. So this is, I mean, that's the whole kit right there. Kind that's of. the whole package, right. And again, it's for small block and big block Chevy. Now you guys, I mean, you guys also actually make this remote reservoir pump too, yeah, right? We have the remote reservoir pump and we also make the reservoirs and the stainless steel braided hose kits that are available. Uh, you probably make the pulleys too? Yes, we do, well, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, this really is nice because, uh, you know, it gives you some flexibility. You know, you can, uh, you can line up things the way you need to line them up and you can get it so that the power steering is running just on one belt and you didn't have to run it through your uh, you know, any of your other accessories, so if you lose one, you don't lose it all. And that's correct, and you know the best part of all this, Dennis, is it's made in the USA. Made in the USA. You gotta love that too. Yep. Great setup, but this is, this is really wild. Yeah, this is really something that's exciting. It's our new keyless ignition, keyless entry system that we've just come out. It's called our third generation. Okay. Uh, what's beautiful about this is, as you can see, it comes with the actuators mm -hmm. for the door locks. And you get four of them in the kit, you get all the wiring harnesses, they all interlock with the computer, and if you have a two-door, then you just have two extra, that's all. Uh, the beautiful part of this is that it's got the security docking station, uh -huh. comes with two fobs, and they insert and remove. And what's nice. nice about that is it's reading a computer chip rather than an antenna, so you don't have to worry about batteries going dead oh, that's great. in the fob. And beautiful part of this is we also make this as a dash mount and a key ignition mount. Ooh. Let me show you how this thing works. The first push is for the accessories. Okay. The second push activates the system. Okay. So you're now ready to start the car. The third push and you're started. Excellent. One more push 
and we shut her down. Oh. <laughs> so it's really terrific. And the unique part of this, it's random code generated. So the Very secure. keyless ignition, the keyless entry is really the system for today. And it's good for almost any car that you can think of. Well, so or it a is, pickup truck. Yeah, so it is largely universal. This is, I'm assuming, the brain. These are your relays. And I can put those almost anywhere, just hide Anywhere them. you want. And a lot of times, we'll put them in a kick panel under the dashboard. Some people would rather put it under the seat or even in the trunk. It really doesn't matter. So so pretty good range on the fob? Oh yeah, I'll bet it's close to 100 yards. <laughs> <laughs> so boom, from, yeah. from a distance. Yeah. And knowing you, made in the USA? Made in the USA, and that's the most exciting thing about a, an electronic product made, made in, the USA, in the USA. Good for any type of car you can think of. You gotta love it. Well hey, if you want to learn anything more about any of these cool products from Flaming River, the power steering mounting bracket or this great keyless entry system, Log on to MyClassicCar.com. Hit it for me again. One more time. <laughs> I love it. For a complete selection of nostalgic performance products, cruise over to EggySpeedShop.com. Next, we'll hit the streets in the 39 Ford. <laughs> oh, I love that style. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is going to be fun. You know, that 4200 RPM stall converter really makes it interesting. <laughs> what a sound. Yeah. My I goodness. love it. Oh. And the smell. Yeah. Race fuel. I love looking out over the injectors. Yeah. The velocity stacks. I kind of use them as an aiming device. Well, you can even see, I mean, even the rail comes out in front of them. I mean, it's, it's really, it's a pretty... Pretty visual engine. I like how you've even got uh, you know some of the body color on the on the engine on the valve cover, oh, yeah. but yeah. just on the side. And you've had this since what'd you say like 90, 98? 98? Yeah. And this is its fourth iteration. Exactly. Wow. You finally have it where you want it, do you think? I think I went a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you'd ever dial it back, though. I mean, you would never... No, no, this, no, 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 no. Nah, I might put nitrous on it, but uh, <laughs> I wouldn't go the other way. <laughs> Probably. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of power here. Yeah, there is. I'm going to put you back in the seat. I know I got this stupid grin on my face. I can't seem to get off. I don't know what it is. It's the color. <laughs> it must be. It must be. But I tell you, it turns heads wherever we go. Kids love it. Yeah. Now, when you ride into the Studebaker, it's like totally different because it, you know it's like driving a 350 Chevy unless you have your foot on the gas pedal. And then it's not. Then it's not. <laughs> Well, I am sort of looking forward to the studio, I, I must say. Yeah. Although I'm having fun here. Still ahead, we'll take a look at a sleek and powerful 53 Studi. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, that, that is a strong car. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> that is a very strong car. It gets your attention. <laughs> it gets a lot of people's attention. <laughs> but I tell you, this car got my attention in Pasadena. I just... I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. Oh, I, I love you. Studebakers in general, and of course the, the 53, 54, the, what they always call the Lowy Coupe, Right. I think is one of the most beautiful cars ever built. But you have taken this to another level. <laughs> You've done so much to it that, you know, it's probably easier to say what you didn't do. But, exactly, but yeah. what did you start with? Where'd you find the car? Uh, we found the car uh, up on the docks in, uh, in Oakland. I, I found it on Craigslist. and. Uh, a 53 Studi on Craigslist? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, you know, you've done, you've done a lot to it. It's, there's, a, there's a pretty significant chop on this car, too, but right. it's, how, how, like, how much? Well, this one is actually six and a half inches in the front. I mean, that's a lot. And then five and a half in the back. Now, it also, did you stretch the nose? Yeah, the nose was reshaped a little bit uh, in order to accommodate the, the, you know, the, some of the motor components and then uh, molded in the front, uh, front headlights. And then, you know, such a subtle, you know, two different greens there right. um, that just, you know, complement each other beautifully. And then it's interesting how it wraps around and it just takes off down the side. Right. It's, it's, it, 
it just blends together so well. Well, that was that was part of the dilemma of, of how to break the, the uh, colors without having a, a you know very visible line, a, a clear break, and 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 you pulled it off Thank because you. I mean you used all the lines of the car to right. know, to define the boundaries, and then off we go. Exactly, oh, I love it. She's lower. Right. Are you on are you on, are you on airbags? No, no. As they say, uh, bags are for grocers. So, <laughs> so this, this is your is ride. Way, this is the way it rides. Wow. And, and what is the suspension? It's a Kugel front rear suspension. It's uh, independent. Uh, in the front and the Jag type uh, uh -huh. in the back with a nine inch Ford center section. Gosh, and I, I mean, I'm, I just, I love, I love the ride height. Oh, thank but you. I tell you, the interior of this car, when I saw it at the show, just, it really took me, took me back. I mean, I, I love the three tone seats, mm -hmm. you know, the orange piping. And then is that a kind of a velour or is it a suede or what is that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of like an ultra suede. The pattern is kind of copied after the, uh, Bentley, you know, the new Bentley. Oh, yeah. And boy, you've, uh, there's not a lot on that dash. No, no. Once we decided we wanted a clean look on the inside, we did uh, everything we could to, to take everything off the dash. Uh, we moved the gauges down into those pods. Yeah, what an interesting setup that is. They, they kind of float. Yeah, yeah. That was, the, that was kind of the idea. Boy, you know, I mean, it, and then you've got a, what, a push button shifter? Yeah, we used a RetroTech shifter uh, rather than having a, the, you know, the shifter on the column mm -hmm. or on, in the floor. Wow. Well, I also like the, the, the graphics on the side. You know, it's very well done. You got a 3D effect mm -hmm. there. Again, the orange that, that goes with your piping. Right. And it's almost kind of, a, it's almost a Buick yeah. side, yeah. side spear, uh, but it's not as radical. Exactly. We took the idea off of the Buick because we were originally going to follow the lines of the door panels mm -hmm. there. And uh, it just was too extreme and, you know, it didn't, wasn't subtle enough. So we just kept uh, moving the tape up until we found a line that looked good. Just completely empirical, yeah. trial and error. Yep. Exactly. There Finally, was, that's it. There was tape everywhere. This <laughs> now you've done something back here because they weren't this fat. Right. Yeah. The the fenders are actually you know how they bolt in mm -hmm. together the inner and outer. We just unbolted them, uh, put a piece of metal in between, and then rounded the top over, so yeah. we could get a little bit wider tire under there without having to actually tub the car. Well, she's absolutely gorgeous. But let's 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 go have a look at what's powering this bad. Stevie. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. We've got something a little bit different under this one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I would say so. Twin turbo, right? Right, sixty-eight millimeter T three turbos. Holy cow! So, and what's the what's the engine? It's a LSX block, four hundred fifty-four cubic inches. Uh, we used uh, LS nine heads with uh, titanium intake valves. Those are wild headers. Yeah. Those are insane. And I love the custom intake. It doesn't look like there's any way it's going to fit under the hood, no. but it fits perfect. I love the Studebaker on the valve cover. Yes. I didn't want Chevrolet. <laughs> we took the uh, stock Chevy valve covers and ground that off, and I found some uh, Studebaker emblems that, that, that we put on there. Fantastic. And people oh. still think it's the Studebaker. <laughs> Studebaker built some great engines, but yeah. they didn't build this one. That's right. Well, she, uh, the, she drives and... Absolutely. This one's got air conditioning and a radio. Oh, wow. Gee, let's, <laughs> let's take this one out too. What do you All say? Right. Sounds right. good to me. I can drive again, right? Absolutely. All right. Stay close. I'm about to feel the power of the 53 Studi. Brought to you by Grundy Worldwide Collector Car Insurance. And by You Code It, the official floor coating of the Eggy Speed Shop. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Wow. <laughs> oh, is that quite a shift there? Yeah. Boom. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what kind of horsepower? It's about a thousand at the motors. 796 at the rear wheels. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Boy, and then when you're just kind of coasting along, she's. I actually thought the engine died. Yeah. It was so quiet. <laughs> I was like, oh no, it died. Yeah. This is a dream to drive. Yeah. Now 
mean, the 39 was, 39 was great, but it's a brute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is much more refined. Yeah, and my, my, my teeth aren't rattling yeah. either. <laughs> it's yeah. much smoother. Yeah, it's much smoother. Like I said, it's like a 350 Chevy unless you're, you get your foot in it. <laughs> Yeah, you, this really is a civilized car. You could yeah, for that you, much horsepower. Yeah, you, you'd think it was. Uh, you could take this out to dinner. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think I'd give it to the valet, but you can do it. You may not get it back. Yeah. You may not get it back from me. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, we'll travel to Montana for the West Yellowstone Rod Run. They call it the Old Faithful of Rod Runs because it's been going for over 40 years and its cruise goes to America's first national park. Top that. Plus, we'll look at what's new in the world of collector car insurance. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. <laughs>